In this video, we will calculate the inverse of a three by three matrix. And so let's get started. Um, for a three by three matrix, it definitely has more steps than a two by two matrix. So let's get started. So first we will write down this, this matrix as is. So one, three, negative two, negative three, four, two, two, five, four. Now this is the next step that's new. Next we will add a, another matrix. This matrix will just have the first two columns, meaning one, three, negative two, and negative three, four, two. What we're doing here is calculating the determinant for a three by three matrix. And so now what we need to do here is multiply the diagonals, meaning this diagonal will be multiplied this diagonal will be multiplied and this diagonal will be multiplied and in doing so this is what we would get so determinant is equal to 1 times 4 times 4 uh, plus this one here so negative 3 5 negative 2 plus uh, 2 times 3 times 2. Next, we will subtract this by another diagonal set. And this will include this diagonal. So 2, 4, 2. So that's 2, 4, uh, 2 plus 2, 5, 1. 2, 5, 1 plus 4, 3, negative 3. So 4, 3, negative 3. And this is all being subtracted. So now we just need to multiply and add everything. So 4 times 4 would give us 16. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Negative 15 times negative 2 is positive 30. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, and so this would be negative 2 times 4 times 2, so this would be uh, negative 16. 2 times 5 times 1 would be positive 10, and 4 times 3 times negative 3 would give us negative 36. And so if you add 16 plus 30 plus 12, minus parentheses negative 16 plus 10 minus 36 what we would get is 100 and you can check by adding it up so the determinant is 100 but we're not done you know we just, we just got one part to solve this problem and now for the next step which involves even more work I will draw a relatively big box because we need some space and I will calculate a matrix and now what I essentially need to do is calculate nine two by two matrix. And I'll show you what I mean. And so this is the first one. Um, what I'm gonna do here is cross this and cross this. I'm starting here, right? I'm gonna cross this and cross this. I'm left off with four, five, two, four. Let me write that down. Four, five, two, four. I'm crossing this and crossing this and replacing this one with this two by two matrix. Next, I will do the negative three. So I will cross this and I will cross this. If you notice, I'm starting at negative three and I'm drawing a straight line here, a horizontal and a vertical line. And in doing so, I write the leftover numbers. So three, negative two, five and four. So I'm gonna do that now. So I said three, negative two, five, and four. And next I'll do this one. I want to replace, so I'll draw a line going here and a line going here, and I write the remaining four numbers. Three, four, negative two, two. So I do that now. So three, four, negative two, two, like this. And I do the same exact idea for the next uh, six. So this one here, 
So I want this one replaced. I draw a horizontal line like this and a vertical line. And I write the leftover numbers, negative three, two, and two and four. So let's do that. So negative three and two and two and four. And now we do this set. So I will draw a horizontal line like this and a vertical line. And I write the leftover, one, two, negative two, four. So one, two, negative two, four. Next one, uh, horizontal going to five, vertical, one, negative three, negative two, two. One, negative three, negative two, two. And now for the last uh, three. So I want this one replaced, draw a horizontal line, vertical line like this, I get negative three, two, four, five. Negative three, two, four, five like this. And now for the next one, I want this one replaced, horizontal, vertical, I write one, three, two, five. One, three, two, five. Finally, the last one, I want this replaced, a horizontal line, a vertical line, one, negative three, three, four. So one, negative three, three, and four. And now for the next step, I will calculate each of these two by two matrix to form one, uh, you know, single matrix essentially. So four times four is 16. 16 minus two times five. 16 minus 10 would give us positive six. Next, three times four is 12. 12 minus two times, negative two times five. So 12 plus 10, so 22. Next, three times two is six. Six minus parentheses, negative two times four. So we would get six plus eight, so 14. I'll do one more and then just write it out. Negative three times four is negative 12. Negative 12 minus parentheses two times two. So negative 12 minus four is minus 16. The others would be eight, negative four, negative 23, negative one, and positive three. And if you want, you can pause the video and verify this is what we would get. And we're not done yet. Now there's another rule about this. So what we, we would do here is, let me show you. I'm gonna write it out again. Yeah, for three by three matrix, there's definitely a lot of rules that you, you know, with practice you can remember. So I'm gonna write this out, negative 16, negative 23, exactly what we have here. I'm just gonna copy it. because so I, I gotta show you one more set that we need to use for this uh, three by three matrix. And this is what we need to do. It alternates. Let me change pen color. This is what's gonna happen. This will be positive, this will be negative, this will be positive, this will be negative, this would be positive, this would be negative, uh, this would be positive, this would be negative, and this would be positive. Uh, matrix, so positive six would stay the same. Negative 22, we would get, positive 14 would remain the same. Minus minus would be positive. That's what I meant. Eight plus would remain the same. Minus minus would be positive four, and plus minus would be minus 23. Minus minus would be one, plus 13 would be, you know, 13. And we're still not there yet. There's another weird rule that we need to do, and this is this. We draw a diagonal line like this, and from here we do some flipping. This is what I mean by flipping. So, this is what we have, 6, 8, 13, it's in the diagonal, so it remains the same. You know, this is just rules that you need to remember. Uh, from here, the 16 and the negative 22 gets flipped, meaning this becomes negative 22, and this becomes 16. This diagonal with this flips, so this means that this is 14, and this is negative 23, and so now we flip the four and one, meaning we would get 
uh, one here and a four here. We simply swapped. So the diagonal remained the same. 16 and 8, 22 flipped. 14 and 8, 23 flipped. And 4 and 1 flipped. So now we're close. So we take the inverse of the determinant, which we got as 100. So we say, we say 1 over 100. So we say uh, 1 over 100, right? We multiply it by this. So we multiply it by this 3 by 3 matrix. 6, negative 22, 14, 16, 8, 4, negative 23, 1, and 13. Last step. So 6 over 100 would be 3 over 50. 16 over 100 would be 4 over 25. Negative 23 over 100 would be negative 23 over 100. Uh, negative 22 over 100 would be negative 11 over 50. 8 over 100 would be 2 over 25. Uh, 1 over 100 would be 1 over 100. Uh, 14 over 100 would be 7 over 50. 4 over 100 would be 1 over 25. And 13 over 100 would be 13 over 100. This right here is the final answer. And just to prove that this is the correct answer, I will use my calculator, TI Inspire CX Cost. And so in order to solve this question using you know a calculator like the TI Inspire CX Cost, it's pretty easy. It only involves two steps. So you hit this icon, you hit this, three by three, and then you write what, what you had in the problem. We had one, uh, negative three, two, three, four, five, negative two, two, and uh, four. You write a caret and a negative one, and that's all you need to do. You hit enter, and this is the answer. So three over 50, four over 25, negative 23 over 100, negative 11 over 50, two over 25, one over 100, seven over 50, one over 25, 13 over 100, which was the exact answer. And that's all we need to do to solve a three by three matrix. Hopefully you will never need to do it, but if you do, that's how you do it.